welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Today we're going to be participating in the Chic for Cheap Challenge. It's hosted by my friend Christy of Christy Creates. And today Christy's co-host is Angie of the Redheaded Scrapper. I will have both of their channel links listed in my description box below as well as the link to the playlist. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today for DIY number one is I have this basket that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and I'm not liking the waffle pattern it has going on back there. I don't want that to show. So I cut a piece of styrofoam that I purchased also from the Dollar Tree and I have a piece of material here that I purchased at Hobby Lobby and this basket I seen online and um I just added a little bit to it by adding the material here and um, because the rest of it was just a woven basket but I want to put this in my kitchen and my kitchen is farmhouse so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this material to this um, styrofoam board that I have cut out and I simply just cut sat my plastic basket from the Dollar Tree on there and traced around it and then took my exacto knife and cut around there okay so now um and i cut the material a little bit bigger than the actual um styrofoam so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just cut at each corner like so just on an angle all right there we go and I'm just going to fold them up on each side. I'll do the ends first and I'm going to get it as tight as possible. Now what I'm going to be using today is some of the Eileen's Fabric Fusion and hot glue. But since this is a fabric, I want it to stick really well. So I'm going to be using that here first, right on this edge. Okay. Then I'm going to be hitting it with a bit of hot glue. And guys, I started using Gorilla Glue hot glue. Oh my goodness, I really like it a lot. Just like that. Okay. I want it nice and tight. Okay. Some more of the Eileen's glue. Okay, Fabric Fusion, it's called. And I don't know if y'all got the chance or not to go shopping today, but they had some sales going on. I went to Joann's and I had a good time. I actually have a video of my haul. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to finish getting this on here, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Now, the basket that I'm replicating did not have this in the bottom of it. Um, it was just a woven basket, but I'm going to put this in my kitchen. So, and I have farmhouse going on in my kitchen. So that's why I have put this bottom in here. I just think it's adorable. And I'm going to go around and I purchased this sisal rope at Menards in my, um, a neighboring town so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start putting it around our basket just like so just gonna hot glue it and maybe a little e6000 now and then and I think it's gonna look adorable so here we go my glue here just like so guys I just love taking things that you purchase at the Dollar Tree and turning them into high-end looking items. It's just so fun. Of where we started, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay my hot glue here. When I get to the point of where we started, I'm simply going to raise right up and go over that. So I make sure this hot glue dries first here. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go all the way around to right here and I'll show you what we're going to do to wrap our handles when I come back. Friends, and now we've come to the part of our handle. 
I can try to get this where you can see. There we go. Okay, and I've simply just cut it off at the hole here, and I'm going to apply my hot glue, my Gorilla hot glue right there, and I'm just going to press it down just like we were just going to continue on. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take where we left off, this end of the rope, and I'm going to just line it up with the hole like that. Simply put some hot glue on top of our rope here. I really like working with this thistle rope, or sisal rope, excuse me, thistle rope. That's a seed, not a rope. All right, so there we go, just like so. And I'm going to continue to go around just like that until we come to the top. All right, just like so. Put some more hot glue on here. All right, guys, and we'll be right back when we get this all finished, and I'll show you what we're going to do with our handles. And when we've come to our handle here, guys, what I've done is simply just went straight across rather than cutting for the hole. I just went straight across. We are going to come back and clean this up later when we're finished and I'll show you how in just a few minutes. But I'm just going to go ahead and go right on with our sisal rope right along one more time. So we should have, I believe there's seven layers on the outside. Now, guys, we have to go around and do, on the inside, excuse me, now we have to go around and do the outside. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, there's seven layers here, guys. And I'm just going to go right on top like this. This is turning out really, really good. I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go around and then I'm going to come back and we're going to start the outside. Okay, so we've come to the end, and what we're going to do is, I'm of the inside that is, what I'm going to do is right by this handle right here is I'm just going to continue our bead of glue right there, like that. Going to press down firmly, get all this together, okay, just like so. Now, we have to go from the bottom up with this to make our outside. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'll wait till this dries and cools off so it's not sticking to our surface. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna turn this over just like so, okay? I'm going to start, can you guys see at all? I'm going to start at the corner here, right below this lip, guys. I'm going to start at the corner, right below this lip, and we're going to go from here over. Okay? Now, show you. my rope's wanting to get twisted. I think I'm going to actually move my pumpkin, and I think I'm actually going to go from right to left. Okay? So, right below this lip here, I'm going to run some hot glue. All right, right on our weave, just like that. I'm going to go like this and this, and I'm just going to hold it until it sticks. This is going to double reinforce this too, guys. So, just like that. Okay, it's going to work perfectly. So, here... And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do this just like we did the inside. And I'm going to, when I get to the handles again, I'll stop and I'll show you guys what we're going to do. I'll be right back. So now we've went around and we've done exactly what we said we were going to do on the inside and the outside. Okay, we've got it all covered. I think this is turning out absolutely beautiful. I love it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to finish this, and we want nice, smooth, clean edges. Our rope around, our sisal rope. Now I'm literally going to jump up to the top, and I'm going to put hot glue, just like so, and we're just going to go around and fill this in with our sisal rope, just like so. This is going to look so cool. I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. 
really, really cute basket. And again, I just had basically a reference shape because I've had this in my mind and I wanted to do it for this and I couldn't find the exact basket, but I know that I put a couple of them together and I thought, wow, I'm going to do that. So I put a regular um, rectangular basket and um, a weaved basket together. So I'll show you a picture of my main inspiration. I'll have it in my thumbnail. All right. Super fun to do. They're very tedious, but they're fun. So much fun. Have it. Our little farmhouse basket is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, go ahead and give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell right next to your subscription and you'll be notified each time I upload new video. I can also be found on Facebook and Instagram. Check me out. Don't forget to go check out the playlist as well as our host and co-hosts, Christy and Angie. I'll have everyone's link in the description box below as well as a link to the playlist. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.